Hi, I'm Toden. And does it make a difference how you send audio from a single microphone XLR to your computer? Today we're comparing a USB soundboard to a Blue Icicle. Does it sound any different sending audio from a dynamic microphone to a soundboard versus to the Blue Icicle? From both of those places, they go to the computer at USB. So this is a USB soundboard I'm using. It's a Mackie Pro FX12. I love this soundboard, but it might be too much for some people. They might not need all that. They might just need a blue icicle, which is just for a single microphone. And I do recommend if you're using a blue icicle that you use a cheap dynamic microphone because... I've used microphones that required phantom power or you put a battery in them. The ones you put a battery in them, I kind of blew up one of my icicles. It was just smoke going and I was afraid it was, there was a couple sparks. I'm using a cheap dynamic microphone and I'm switching back and forth in post. That's what these graphics that you're seeing mean. It's which method I'm using when. There is obviously a price difference here between an icicle and a soundboard. So I really recommend to use what you feel that you need. I don't know if there's a difference in how these sound. So hopefully we learn that while we're doing this. And hopefully we're learning how they sound, if they sound different at all. So please comment, rate, subscribe check out the rest of this channel and I do read these comments let me know what I should be doing next let me know what you think of this let me know if I'm doing this in a way which you think I should do differently because I know a lot of people have their own methods of even holding microphones I want to hear these thoughts so again comment rate subscribe and please check out the rest of this channel thank you I'm going to record something in different places with an interview that may or may not need video. Should I use a Zoom Q4, a camera with good microphones, or a mobile recording device like the